Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. Today I'm here to do a packing video of the Carry Kit Linux in the beautiful black leather. You guys, I love all of the Carry Kit bags, but this one is for sure, hands down, my absolute favorite. Um, I, you know I have a lot of different diaper bags. I just did a review um, last week where I showed you all the bags in my collection, and although I have so many diaper bags that I love, I just haven't been able to move out of this one ever since I packed it up. I love it so much and I can't wait to show you why I love this thing as much as I do. So I'm going to unpack the bag. This is how I had it packed this weekend for two pretty full days out and about. Um, so if you want to see how I have this all packed up as well as a little bit of an overview of the Carry Kit Linux, then keep watching. One of the first things I want to point out is that I did have my tag customized. Um, this says Limea, it stands for Love You Mean It Always, which is my tagline. And I just love how beautiful these little embellishments look together. Um, I'm going to be adding a business card here, I just haven't done that yet. I should note that the Carry Kit Linux does come with a long tassel as well, but I opted to remove mine. I think it's really pretty, but I just kind of prefer the way the bag looks without it, so I don't have that on here, but it is something that comes with the bag. On the Linux, you do get two um, long front zipper pockets. These are very skinny, so when the bag is totally packed up, there's really not a lot of space in here for stuff. So I don't have a whole lot of things in here, just some quick grab things that I tend to be reaching for a lot. Here I have my AirPods. I have this little manicure set for dealing with nail issues on the go. And the last thing in there is my pill case. As you can see, it is a very thin little pocket. It is quite deep though, so you can definitely stack things in there and optimize that space. There are two insulated bottle pockets on the outside of this bag. I tend to wear this on days that I wanna look sophisticated, so I like to use the internal bottle pockets for my bottles and just leave this empty because I just like how it looks like such a sleek handbag without bottles here on the outside. But I do occasionally slip my phone in here because it fits really well and I can just grab it really quickly. Over here in this side bottle pocket, again, I don't have a whole lot of stuff. The one thing that I have is a Jujube small set piece and this has just got my phone charger in it. Again, there is another bottle pocket over here on this side, but like I said, I've chosen to keep that empty. Now, the only other external organization, um, can we talk about this slouch for a minute? Look at that. Oh. The only other external organization is a long zip pocket here across the back. This is where I choose to keep the change pad. Now, I don't particularly care for the change pad that comes in the carry kit bags. It's great for like lining my son's um, high chair so that I can wipe it down really easily and not get the high chair dirty, but it's super thick and it just takes up a lot of space in my diaper bag. So I choose to use my um, Itsy Ritzy change pad that came in my Itsy Ritzy Limea uh, collab bag. It's just so thin and it's perforated or it's got seams in it so it folds up really easily and it fits really nicely in that pocket. Now, I have the long strap attached. I love that this is removable because this means that when I really want this to look like a sophisticated handbag, I can just take it off and just use this handle here so that it really does look like a purse. Now, I've got this bag packed up really full. For example, I have um, a blanket sitting right here on top but I want to show that when you have it packed less full and there's not as much stuff sitting on the top of it, it really, really slouches well. Um, and of course, the less you have in it, the more slouch you get. And the great thing about real leather is the more you use this and love it, the more slouchy it gets. And I just love that about these bags. So that's everything on the outside of the bag. Let's go ahead and talk about the inside. All right, let me just tilt this over and let you see kind of how everything is packed in there. This is a really deep bag and it just goes on for days. You can fit so many things in there. It's just a really, really fantastic bag. It's, it kind of reminds me of a Jujube Be Light in that it's just nice and deep and it's got a nice cavernous space in here to put all of your things. Um, but it's also got internal organization, which I'll show you in a second. In fact, I think I'm gonna raise the camera up and give you a top down view just so you can really get a good picture of how everything's packed in here. Okay, so here is a bit of a top-down view of the bag. As I mentioned, I have a copper pearl swaddle blanket sitting right here on top. And then here is how everything is organized inside. It just makes me so happy to look in here because everything is in its place exactly as it should be. Okay, so one of the first things that I have in here is my Carry Kit Bodhi Clutch. Um, this is kind of like a Be Quick. It's just um, a little pouch for organizing things. It's got a zipper here on the back, which I'm not using at this time. 
And in here I've just got a whole bunch of different toys for my kiddos. This is a lot smaller than a Be Quick and it definitely doesn't poof out as much so you can't fit as many things in there but for me it's kind of perfect right now. Also down in the main compartment, I have my carry kit George wallet. I kind of prefer my Millie wallet for like when I'm out without my diaper bag, but the George fits so much better inside um, of diaper bags. So that's why I have that in here now. It's still got card slots in it and lots of space. It's just a little bit smaller than the Millie, which I appreciate. Still down in my main compartment, I have a replay snack stack for my son. And sitting right underneath that, I have a Munchkin formula container. Now, that was everything that was down in the main compartment. As you can see, there's a nice, just big space down in there for lots of different things. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice, we've all been sick in my house. Okay, so now let's talk about the internal organization of the bag, which I love so much. You have two stretchy pockets here in the back. So in one of them, I have a medium set piece by Jujubee, and this is packed with restaurant needs for, mostly for my toddler. I have my slip resistant placemat, um, a Be Neat, some silverware, and a little bit of, a little box of raisins in there for him in case we get to the restaurant and they take a long time with his food. Next to that, in this other uh, stretchy pocket, I have my Breathe Frida nose wipes for my son and my daughter, because like I said, they're both very sick right now. And I have my um, Nose Frida snot sucker. <laughs> Gotta love that name. Um, we carry this at the Sensible Mama as well as those nose wipes I just showed you. And I love that this comes in the travel case because that means it's nice and clean and sanitary. So that's all I had in these two stretchy pockets. To be honest, these were big enough to put other things as well, but I just didn't want to overpack the bag. Now, as you can see, there is a key ring right here. And uh, I just got really worried that all of that was not in focus up until now. Sorry if it wasn't, uh, too late to go back now. Um, so attached to that key ring, I don't really like to put my keys there, so I just have um, a pocket back hand sanitizer so that I can get to that quickly after diaper changes. Now while we're still on this side, let me show you this long zipper pocket that's on the inside. It's got this beautiful embossed carry kit logo here, which I think is so pretty. Um, and this is where I'm keeping medical needs. So I have a thermometer. I got this at Publix, it's digital and I love this thing. I have some um, ointment. And then I just have a Jujube small set piece that has some Tylenol just in case my daughter needs it because she's teething pretty bad. And that's a nice, generous pocket in there. So still lots of room for other things in there, but like I said, I'm just not a huge overpacker. Now, as you can see, this bag is so slouchy. It's just, as I take things out, it's starting to slouch more and more, which I love. You have to remember, that's what leather does. It's gonna slouch. Okay, so those were the things that were all on this side of the bag. Let's turn it around and show you the stuff on the other side. First, I wanna point out that there are two insulated bottle pockets on the inside of the Linux, and like I said before, that's where I like to keep um, the bottles for my kids because I just don't like them on the outside of my Linux. So I have one Pura stainless bottle for my son. This has got the um, straw topper on it. And then over here, I have a bottle for my daughter. Now, you might be asking me if I feel comfortable putting liquids inside of this beautiful bag with this gorgeous lining, um, knowing that they could spill, and the answer is yes, and that's because this is fully wipeable, waterproof material on the inside, which means that stains just wipe right off with a wet wipe, and it's amazing. So the last things that I have inside of this bag are my diapers for both of my kids. This is the really smart pocket that I love in the carry kit bags that actually opens or snaps shut. Um, when I'm using this as a work bag, I leave this unsnapped and I can put my laptop in there, which is fantastic. But when I'm using this for diapers, since I have two kids anyway, I like to leave it snapped and that way I have two extra little compartments for diapers. So on this side, I have diapers for my son, and on the other side, I have diapers for my daughter. I have a bunch crammed in there, <laughs> as well as the Orchid Hearts wipes pouch for diaper changes. So that is everything that was in my bag. Let me give you a little peek at how it looks when it's all unpacked. You can just see all of that beautiful um, interior structure. This is why I have been really preferring this bag over my Lily Jade Megan, because I just, I don't love the insert in the Lily Jade Megan, and since it doesn't have any internal structure of its own, when the insert is out, it's just not as functional for me, so I have really, really, really been enjoying the internal structure here on this bag.
All right, everyone, that's it for today's pack with me video of the Carry Kit Lennox diaper bag. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more of this kind of content. Love ya, mean it, always, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.